Hi, good morning. My name is Mira and uh, I'm a lecturer here at Asia Pacific University. I teach uh, accounting and finance subjects. Being a lecturer, you know, um, a lot of people think that, you know, it is just merely standing in front of a class, uh, giving a lecture and talking, okay, but uh, there's a lot of uh, underlying stuff to do like, uh, you know, marking and, uh, you know, preparing exam papers and uh, assessments, verifications, <coughs> moderations. You have to ensure that your markings and uh, deadlines are actually adhered to properly. Okay, otherwise, you will delay the system. Okay, you will delay students' results being published and stuff like that. So, this definitely comes as part of your job. And you have to be able to take it on as a stride and you have to be able to um, manage your time. Time management is the most key essential criteria that you need to have okay, being a lecturer. You need to also manage time with uh, students' consultations, uh, managing their questions, their queries. They do uh, book consultations with us okay, to see us regarding uh, things that they don't understand in class. Every student is different, every student is unique in their own way and uh, they actually uh, they, they depend on you to actually give them the right path and the right guidance. Sometimes there's a perception that, uh, you know, when we leave a class as a lecturer, we're actually done uh, with, you know, whatever that we're supposed to do that day. But actually it goes on, okay, right after we finish the set of lectures over a certain number of weeks, uh, we still have the markings to do, we still have to ensure that you know the student progresses well to the next level. Okay, and they actually have the right uh, they have the right tutorials and they have the right number of lectures that they have actually set through. And students go on mid-semester breaks and uh, you know when they have uh, their term breaks, we still do come in to work. Okay, we have a full-time arrangement, a full-time job where we still uh, continue to do the post work after the lectures. Once in a while, we do have uh, time where we can actually have lunch together. But there are times where you know we don't have lunch at all. So uh, it's good that you know today was a day where we could actually find time to have a meal together. Uh, you know the challenges that we also face. Uh, you know is taking each student as an uh, individual person. Each class is different. It's own. and it's how we tend to manage the class. Okay, some classes are really, really, uh, very lively. Okay, there are a lot of students and you can have a lot of interactive sessions with them. Uh, in the sense that you can divide them into groups, you can have a lot of class activity. Communicating with your students is very, very important. Understanding them. Okay, we spend about 16 to 18 weeks uh, in a class and it's a pretty long time. And uh, you really understand your student after that and you also realise that your student understands you after a couple of weeks. They will know what you expect from them and they tend to get so much better along the way. They understand the subject, they understand the module and you see them changing, you see them evolving, you see them growing. And I think that's the most wonderful thing about being a lecturer. You have to have the ability to be in front of a group of people and relate what you're trying to say, impart it in a way that they want to hear you. And that, I think, is the key essential thing about being a lecturer. Um, personally, I feel that uh, you know, uh, when I attend a graduation ceremony of a student and when I find the students coming up to me and introducing their parents and saying that oh you know this is the lecturer that taught me financial accounting and you know I remember every single thing she told me up to today um, those kind of words can really really make you feel that you have done your job well and that is the best sort of gift that you get from this job and this is definitely a value that uh, there is no price that you can put, put on it <laughs>